G'day guys and gal. Now before you super lore nerds who already know everything about Warhammer 40k but still decide to watch lore videos for some reason, jump on my face about the thumbnail, yes, I know that blanks technically do have souls, but to save the thumbnail looking like this, I've opted to shoot first and explain later. That's how the saying goes, yeah? On a more deeper specific level, a blank is an individual who, due to the presence of a certain rare gene, has a negative soul. Like their soul actively attacks and nullifies the souls around it, as well as any soul magic, aka warp spaghetti. Their souls are like mini black holes in the warp, hence demons, psychers, and literally anyone with a soul despises them. Hence their social circles mainly consist of gingers. If they were just soulless, they wouldn't be easily detectable by demons, but they also wouldn't have an anti-warp aura. For example, the Tau have insignificant souls, hence they're more resistant to chaos, but if you want to shoot some warp lightning out of your wiener at them, they're going to get fried like a fish on a barbie. Before we get started, check out the newest magical model paint jobs that have been sent to me. This fantasy one by Robert is bloody great, and it's really cool to see people giving the magical Terminator Lords a red hot crack as well. Kid Zombie even gave his a combi blaster, which I rate highly, whilst Will Agar's one straight up carries around Gilliman's head. All these models are available for sale on the Magical website, and if you get one, paint it up and send me some flicks, I might show them off on the website and in future videos. Today we'll go over what a blank is and where they come from. We'll then dive into their unique abilities before going over some of the more popular blanks that have been running around the galaxy. Let's get into it. It seems pretty odd that a gene can invert your soul, but this is Warhammer, where hippie space elves ride dinosaurs, old cranky robots destroy entire planets for a laugh, and nothing anyone does matters much because a bunch of space bugs of death are just going to end up eating everyone anyway, so I guess we can't be too shocked. The pariah gene is the one responsible for making someone a blank, and can be mostly traced back to a single planet, although one in a couple billion people can mutate this gene as well. When the Imperium caught wind of this soul-hating world, Malkador was intrigued, hence they took a large portion of the population to Terra to see if they could weaponize them against chaos. Funnily enough, well, at least I find this funny, the millions of people who probably got raped by demons didn't, but when the ships with all the blanks arrived on Terra, their anti psycho presence was so powerful that the Astronomicon was temporarily taken offline, dooming thousands of ships that were in the process of making a warp jump. I could have seen that coming a mile off, but I guess the concept of a blank was pretty new at the time, so they didn't really know what would happen. Another interesting phenomenon about blanks is that due to their more or less suppressing souls, people subconsciously hate them. They will despise the blank without understanding why. Even Beckwin, who was a charming, beautiful woman, was downright loathed by Gregor Eisenhorn, despite him knowing that she was a blank and him being very practical about it. Eventually, he was able to overcome his innate resentment towards her, but the main reason she was so keen and willing to join an Inquisitor's retinue and leave everything behind is because everyone she had ever met hated her and she had no home. The blank's repulsiveness doesn't always come from the subconscious hatred though. For example, Ferrick Jürgen was a blank that fought alongside Caiphius Kane. Fuck, I really hope that's how you pronounce it, otherwise you guys are going to kill me. Whilst people didn't hate Jürgen for existing, people found him unpleasant to look at, and he had this intense overwhelming body odour. Even when he cleaned himself, he would almost instantaneously become stinky and dirty again, which is how the negative part of the being a blank affected him. With so many blanks on Terra, the High Lords began to have a bitch fit. Malkador and the Mechanicum were trying to suss out if they could isolate the pariah gene, hence be able to choose who becomes a blank, but all the experiments ended horribly. Fucking with one's soul tends to have that effect. To keep the peace and to get the High Lords to relax, the Emperor and Malkador culled a large portion of the blanks and pretended that they were all dead. In truth, the best and brightest blanks were either recruited into the Sisters of Silence or they joined the Calexus Temple. Speaking of the Sisters of Silence, they are an elite all blank order making them incredibly good witch hunters and psycho slayers. Now, they have their own video, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but basically, they started off as a super small and secret order, drawn from the one in a couple of billion pariahs that popped up here and there. After proving themselves to be incredibly effective tools of war against rogue psychers, as well as the discovery of the pariah planet, the order grew in size and strength until it paralleled the custodies in its influence. Just look at this cute family photo. Now, you might be like, but Major Kill, that sister is next to the Emperor. He's a psyker. Why is he so eager to form this order if they must have been giving him a splitting headache 24-7? And that's actually a good question. I won't insult you for that. Imagine psychers are fire and blanks are water. Water beats fire. 
You pour it on and out goes the fire. You can't burn water or use it as fuel for a fire. If that was the case, this planet would have been fucked millions of years ago. However, if you have a raging inferno and throw it at a pond, the pond water will boil and evaporate, whilst the inferno will rage on, not realize it just dunked on its arch nemesis. The Emperor is a raging inferno and the blanks are ponds of water. His psychic might is so great that the presence of blanks doesn't affect him in the slightest. This is wildly impressive considering the third strongest psyker in the galaxy, Magnus the Red, was having extreme performance issues in the presence of the Sisters of Silence. Sadly, when the Emperor became a Lithium Skeletor and Malkador got Thanos snapped, there was no one left to vouch for the Sisters of Silence. The new High Lords hated them due to their blankness and the Custodes didn't give enough fucks to cover for them, hence the Order of the Sisters of Silence were broken up and scattered throughout the galaxy. Only a token force remained whose sole purpose was to capture Psykers and bring them back to the Emperor's Soul Furnace. With the return of the Big Blue G-Man, the Sisters of Silence have been properly reinstated and now once again clap demonic cheeks side by side with their giant golden boy toys. But yeah, long story short, Sisters of Silence are female blanks who have been trained to perfection, outfitted with gnarly ass gear and then likely augmented further. So what about the male blanks? Is there a Brothers of Silence? Fuck no! Why you ask? Cause it's wrong to silence a brother. Male blanks are either turned into hectic scary as fuck looking assassins that can tear through Chaos Space Marines just by clenching really hard, or you know, they just get left alone. Untrained blanks aren't an issue like untrained psychers. Untrained blanks just chill out, live normal, lonely lives, and occasionally save the day by being in the right place at the right time. The Sisters of Silence mostly recruit from that hidden pariah planet, so it's not like they need to send out strike teams to scour the galaxy for blanks. The Inquisition pays highly for blanks, and the Auto Sinister even use blanks for their special Psy Titans. Space Marines and Custodes cannot be blanks due to the warp spaghetti that goes into their transformation indoctrination, although it seems like the Grey Knights are able to turn some among their ranks into blanks after they've been turned into a Space Marine. What about the other races? Can they have blanks? Yeah. Kinda. For the Elder, due to how psychic their race is, the odds of them having a natural blank is basically non-existent, and even if one did occur, they would likely be killed upon birth due to how horrified by blanks the Elder are. The only known type of Elder that can be considered close to a blank is a Solitaire, as they seemingly trade their souls to Slaanesh for an incredible power boost, which they ironically use to completely fuck off the forces of Slaanesh. The Orcs are in the same boat as the Elder, in that they are incredibly psychic, and any blank Orc that would be created would likely get insta-crumped for disrupting the Wa energy. The Tau don't have psychers, nor do they really have souls, so they don't get blanks either. The Necrons are soulless, but as we have established, that's not the same as a blank. However, the Necron pylons do project an anti-warp aura, which can be comparable to a blank. The Tyranids do not have blanks, and do not want to have blanks, despite having previously absorbed the pariah gene from some unlucky blanks. This is due to the fact that blanks disrupt the Nid's connection to the hive mind, which is a big no-no. So as we can see, it's only really the humans that get a good return on investment. Just like psychers, there are different power levels of blanks, which is determined by if the pariah gene of the blank is dominant or recessive. A blank with a recessive pariah gene is often called an untouchable. Their presence will piss people off, and they can disrupt a Psyker's connection to the warp. However, they aren't extremely off-putting or are fatal to Psykers and not other people. They can get away with being a blank as long as they don't mind being an introvert. These types of blanks are the ones that are left alone to their own devices in the galaxy or join up with an Inquisitor's retinue as they are tolerable. Think of them as an anti psyker shield. However, a blank with a dominant pariah gene is a different story. These terrifying hated people are called the Soulless. Being around them makes normal people feel physically ill and despise them. A psycho being near them will often have a seizure or even die. These are the kind of blanks that are turned into Calexus assassins and Sisters of Silence. One Sister of Silence had such a powerful pariah gene that she was able to make herself invisible to people and even Custody struggled to look at her. Think of them as an anti-psycho sword. So what are examples of notable blanks? Well, from the Eisenhorn books, we have Elizabeth Beckwin, who was a fierce and charming girl that saved Gregor's life on multiple occasions. As I haven't finished reading the Eisenhorn books, I kind of don't want to do too much research into her at the moment, so yeah, sorry, that's all I got for you so far. 
Another famous example that I mentioned earlier was Ferrik Jürgen. Olmate Jürgen was the aid, driver, and right-hand man of Caiphius Cain, who was a loyal soldier and saved his boy's life on multiple occasions. A weird example, we now have the Black Pariah. No, he was not just a black dude who was a pariah. The Black Pariah, aka the Spear, was a blank who was heavily experimented on when he was first discovered. As the experiments went poorly, he was sentenced to execution via sun. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't have just put him in an electric chair, but instead they opted to launch him into the sun in a spaceship. The spaceship was intercepted by Erebus, who bound a demon with the pariah, somehow, turning him into a black pariah, which is able to reflect psycho powers back onto the caster. He was given the task of assassinating the emperor, and this went, you know, about as well as can be expected. After the black pariah's death, there have been no others since that we know about. Then we have Janita Kroll, who was the OG commander of the Sisters of Silence, an incredibly overwhelming blank. She was the one I mentioned earlier that could be invisible due to her blankness. In a pretty funny and extremely humiliating death, she was killed during the Siege of Terror, when Khan the Betrayer went on a rampage and started swinging wildly. When he killed her, he actually didn't realize he had, as he didn't know she was there due to her blankness. He was actually quite confused, as his inbuilt kill counter ticked up one more than he was expecting. Blanks are like chemo, they fucking suck to deal with, but they can save your life in an especially shitty situations. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be, where only $1 per month give you access to a boatload of Warhammer Hentai. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the real subscribe button for more soulless content. Join the Discord for more memes, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.